The Notibo Mega Windmill Transporter has a great claim to be the best wrapped model ever. It comes in a cardboard outer sleeve, which then contains another cardboard outer sleeve, and inside that is a shrink wrapped high quality presentation box. And when you get the shrink wrapping off and open the box up, the model is contained within high quality foam rubber. And the good news is that this model comes with a coloured instruction sheet which describes how to assemble it. All that's needed now is some information on the real machine and the packaging would be perfect. There are quite a few parts to the model so let's get them out in turn. The first piece out is uh, the lift adapter for the front of the model and there's also a second lift adapter. They're not quite identical um, because the remote controls are designed to both be on the same side of the machine. This version of the MWT has a Schoyola trailer and there's a four line unit and a two line unit in the box and they join together to form the rear trailer. And there's a nice, uh, nicely made turntable piece and that uh, is to fit on the Schoyola trailer. Uh, there's a four axle uh, Notabome Jeep dolly and there's a MAN 8x4 tractor. And completing the model there are a couple of bags of uh, various small parts that are used in the assembly. We'll start by having a look at the detail of the MAN TGX XXL tractor. It's a typical high quality WSI model with uh, lots of detail, uh, good number plates and uh, lights and uh, chevrons on the front. It has colour coded door mirrors and like all Notibome tractor units it's got its own uh, number T019 for this particular version. And dropping down to the wheels it's good quality tyres and uh, very detailed wheel hubs. The chassis is very high quality, um, excellent rendition of the suspension components, the steering and the transmission, uh, really nicely done. Behind the cab there's diamond plating leading up to the fifth wheel and a good equipment tower, some of it's uh, plastic as often with uh, WSI and on top there's a, a nice fan with uh, excellent mesh covering. There are a few small parts to fit to the hitches at the front and back. At the front you have a cover plate which is secured with a small pin, although on the review model the uh, alignment wasn't so good so the pin wouldn't go right the way in. And at the back there's a guide uh, secured by another pin and that fits quite well. As you would expect the MAN rolls along nice and smoothly. Um, there is steering on the uh, front two axles which are linked uh, but as usual the range of steering movements are uh, really quite limited uh, you don't really want to force the model so uh, when you set it you can see you get some steering. The cab has a good steering mechanism because it tilts far enough so that when you tilt it it uh, stays tilted and inside you've got quite a detailed engine which is uh, good to see. And at the back on this tractor the fifth wheel is fixed in position. <laughs> Now we'll plough right on by looking at the features of the 4-axle Notibome Jeep Dolly. This connects to the tractor and it's got very good independent suspension on each of the four axles and if we look underneath the model um, there is steering on axles 3 and 4, um, they're not linked and the range of movement again is, uh, is very small. And on top there is a rotating turntable for attaching the lift adapter. At the front there are two metal landing legs to fit and they have two positions. When fitted like this it's really a storage position uh, for when the Jeep dolly is attached to a tractor and it's in a normal transport mode. But if it's disconnected from a tractor then you can take the landing legs off, turn them through 90 degrees and then they form secure and solid landing legs which provide good support. The rear trailer is made up of components from WSI's Schoyola system and it's uh, very high quality stuff, nearly all made of metal. Uh, the suspension is excellent and works independently on each wheel set and on the four line uh, module unit uh, the axles all steer and they're linked together to form sort of proportional steering. Uh, the two line module is uh, just as good, uh, works in the same way 
and uh, it's got very good parallel steering. The two modules have to be joined together to uh, make the trailer and that's uh, easy and pleasurable to do because um, you fit them together and they've got that uh, great locking bolt system uh, which when it's secured forms a nice uh, good engineering connection and the trailer is uh, very solidly formed. There's a few parts to add when you've got the uh, modules together. Um, there's six uh, metal deck plates which just simply fit over and cover the steering bars underneath and you've got a really nicely made turntable with uh, moving connections uh, again nearly all metal and that just pops on the top of the module and you just secure it uh, down with uh, either two or four pins whatever you like uh, to get it securely in position okay let's have a look at the lift adapter mechanism which fits on top of the uh, trailer and the jeep dolly it's a very well engineered piece and by removing the pin um, you can stretch it out and close it up longitudinally and uh, there's a couple of pins that are supplied so they go on e either side and you can raise and lower the connection mechanism on the cylinder and de get a degree of tilt as well so a very well engineered piece uh, works nice and is uh, well detailed fitting the lift adapter to the Jeep dolly is easy enough um, it just pops over the end of the turntable and um, there are quite a few pins supplied with the model so you want the longer ones I think fit best uh, you just slot it in on one side and then uh, line up the opposite side and get the pin in and when that's done you've got quite a good connection and it rotates the turntable well and it, you're all set. The process is uh, simply repeated for the lift adapter on the Shoyola trailer and again once it's uh, pinned in place you get a nice connection. There are a few more detail pieces to fit on the Shoyola modules. Uh, there's a couple of light clusters which just clip onto the back and there's also a drawbar which you can just push in but it's a bit of a pity actually that it's not a functioning drawbar. It uh, won't fold down for example and a little control console that you can just uh, sit on the back of the module. Once you've made up the individual pieces of the Mega Windmill Transporter you can join it all together the Jeep Dolly clips into the fifth wheel of the tractor easily enough and forms a good tight join. To join the two lift adapters in transport mode when they're empty and not carrying anything you just uh, hook them over at the bottom uh, like that and then interlock the connections at the top by pushing down and then you form uh, a strong connection. Once assembled it's an impressive looking vehicle but it's in the details that the model looks really great. The generator on top of the Jeep Dolly, the little notibone badge and the small structural details add interest. Some of the modelling is particularly intricate such as this turntable on top of the Shoyla units and the high level of detail is really present throughout the whole model. Of course the vehicle is designed to carry windmill components and here it is loaded with the optional nacelle model that's available. If you do use the model to carry a load, you can use the width marker boards which just clip onto the front and back straight onto the lift adapter beams. With the nacelle added you get an impressive long transporter and it looks great when posed with other relevant models. In summary this version of the Notabome Mega Windmill Transporter is an excellent model from WSI, great features and details and is outstanding. Mm -hmm.